Hello, everyone. I'm Yaniv Valtruller, the CEO and founder of Endor. Endor was born at the MIT University, and it is based on the technology that was developed at MIT by our co-founder, Professor Alex Pentland. The technology that is called social physics can analyze very large amounts of encrypted data and produce very accurate predictions without revealing any private information from the data itself. The technology was recognized as innovative by the World Economic Forum, Gartner, and many other institutes. The company was born four years ago. We developed a product during the first few years, and we are already selling to large companies such as Walmart, Coca-Cola, MasterCard, and several other banks and financial institutes. Our product can connect to our customers' data, and again, it connects to encrypted data, so we don't have any access to any private information. We connect to an encrypted version of the data, and we allow our customers to produce very accurate predictions regarding their customers' behaviors. Let me give you a few examples of what Endor already does today for its customers. The first example that you see here is a work that we are already doing for one of our customers that is a credit card company. This operator has several millions cardholders, and they are very interested in selling loans. Actually, they have around 100 people making phone calls every day, thousands and thousands of phone calls. And they want to, naturally, call the people who would say yes and would take a loan. With Endor, they get a daily report from us, a list of all the cardholders of these providers, ranked by their likelihood to say yes, I want to take a loan. And they start calling these customers according to our recommendation. Since they started using the Endor system, they have tripled the amount of loans they sell. We literally tripled the business of this credit card operator. Not only this, they ask the, systems, the system any other questions that they are interested in. For example, who is going to buy a new car? Who is going to fly abroad? Any question that the marketing managers in this credit card operator are interested in, they can ask using the Endor system, and they get very accurate results with zero compromise of their customers' privacy, because again, we work on encrypted data. A different example that you see here is the work that we've done for the Coca-Cola company. In this case, we were given all the logistics and shipment data of Coca-Cola in a certain region, and we helped the marketing managers and logistics managers for Coca-Cola to optimize their shipments and marketing. We can answer questions such as, which store is going to sell which product? Which store is going to run out of stock? Which product is going to become popular or decrease in popularity? This information is very useful for the company's marketing managers. They can know how to optimize their marketing strategy. They can know where to send the trucks with the bottles and where not to send them. This can really boost growth, and again, this is fully automatic, working only on encrypted data. A third example is a work that we are doing for a large trading platform. We can connect, again, to the exchange data and answer questions such as, who is going to become your growth engine? Which new users that you only see for the first time today are going to become your biggest depositors. This is something that many exchanges are really interested in. Which current heavy depositor is going to live? Is, who is going to churn and why? Which token is going to be popular? Which user is going to be interested in which tokens? These are all questions that we can answer very accurately after a very fast integration with our customers' data. And again, only encrypted data so no personal information is revealed. Last year, we decided to take this technology one step forward and make it accessible for everyone, because we decided that it's about time that not only the Coca-Colas and the MasterCards and the Walmarts of the world will be able to use it, but even small businesses, medium businesses, 
and even individuals. We wanted to give anyone the ability to ask predictive questions and get very accurate answers on their own in a fully secured way. So we created the EDR token that is used to activate the Endor protocol. The Endor protocol allows anyone to onboard their data, again, in an encrypted version, so no information is being revealed. Anyone can onboard their data, and anyone else can come and ask questions on this data, can ask predictive questions, and pay with the EDR tokens. So now anyone can start asking predictive questions, get a service that until this point was only available for the world's largest banks, companies that can pay a million dollars a year. Now, with the Endor protocol, companies can pay hundreds of dollars per month and still get access to this great technology. Not only this, people who onboard their data are compensated by the tokens. So we created a prediction ecosystem that allows new businesses to use Endor protocol as an infrastructure for prediction and serve each other, create, creating value. So this is the Endor protocol. Our vision is to become the standards of predictions on the blockchain. The blockchain is expanding. It's going to dramatically change the world. It's going to reinvent industries. Many businesses today are going to look very different in two or three years' time. And anyone needs predictions. Any business needs to know the future. Any business needs to know what their customers are going to do. And with the Endo protocol, now they can. We are harvesting all of the blockchain. We have the ERC20 transactions, and we're absorbing new blockchains every week. And anyone can now ask predictive questions using the Endo protocol. We want that in two years, whenever someone thinks about prediction, they would think Endor. Endor is the Google of predictive analytics. We make predictions easy. Instead of a three months project, now anyone can use the Endor protocol and produce predictions in a few hours. This is what Endor brings to the world. How do we go are going to achieve this vision? In two main strategies. One, we are going to take enterprise customers and bring them to blockchain. We already sell to banks, to credit card operators, to retailers, to the Coca-Colas and the MasterCards of the world. We already sell to them now. We have a working product, customers from the non-blockchain environment, and we are going to take them and move them to the Endo protocol. We are going to do so by using 50% of all the revenues that we generate from our enterprise customers, and we are going to purchase the EDR tokens and use them to generate predictions. Because, you know, we cannot expect marketing managers from Coca-Cola to start buying tokens on the exchange tomorrow. We would help them to do so. They would still get their predictions, but they would get those based on the Endo protocol. And gradually, over time, they would see the value and they would start purchasing tokens themselves. However, very soon, in the coming few months, the Endor protocol would be probably one of the few blockchain projects that are serving real, large enterprise customers, paying real money to get real values. So this is one thing. We are going to take large banks, move them to blockchain because they are already our customers. The second thing is creating an ecosystem. We want to create an ecosystem that is based on prediction, centered around the Endo protocol. We are creating partnerships, partnerships with infrastructure protocols like, for example, Orbs. The Orbs protocol is a highly scalable consumer blockchain, already partnering with very large projects in this field. The Orbs pro uh, project is going to be based on Endor for creating predictions. Every company running Orbs will be able to use Endor for predictions. This is already happening now. We are creating a partnership with Enigma. Enigma collects data. We take the data 
and generates predictions on the data that Enigma generates. We just flew in last night from Japan, from Tokyo. We participated in the Tokyo blockchain event where we met a few of the largest projects on the blockchain today, and we are discussing similar partnerships, partnerships with some of the largest names on blockchain today, giving them the Endo protocol as an infrastructure for their prediction. So this is what we're going to do. Take banks that already use Endor, put them on the Endor protocol, partner with the largest projects on blockchain today, bringing them Endor as an infrastructure for prediction. But we're going to do something else. We're going to collaborate with academia and even government agencies, making sure that Endor remains the superior technology. And we're going to do so with MIT through the MIT Alliance for Crypto and Blockchain Systems. On last consensus, we announced a donation of $15 million to together with founding partners Orbs and Bancor that would be used to start a new research system at MIT dedicated to pushing the forefront of human knowledge in these fields. We are going to fund research events research students, all centered around blockchain and crypto systems. We are going to do it together with the companies that you see down here. These industry giants, IBM, Intuit, Airbus, MasterCard, have already donated their part to the research center at MIT. We are joining with our 15 million, and we are going to fund all the research, not just at MIT. We are collaborating with other leading university, but we are intending this to be the world's leader in blockchain research. The first activity is going to be announced next week, uh, sorry, next month, July, at MIT. And this is the Federation for Artificial Intelligence on the Blockchain. This federation invites anyone from the blockchain and crypto space who is interested in artificial intelligence to come and join us. We have a large on-campus area at MIT dedicated for research. We can invite researchers from companies in blockchain to join us and do research together to invent the next generation of blockchain. We are going to publish a book early next year with MIT Press titled The Technological Foundation of Blockchain. This book would feature several of the recent advancements in blockchain and what we think the blockchain of the future should look like. On October this year, we are going to host a very large event at the MIT Media Lab, including a hackathon. We are going to invite anyone from MIT and uh, outside MIT for a hackathon based on the Endor protocol predictions, the orbs, blockchain, and try to see what applications they can build on top of it. We are organizing research events and research activities, as I said. I want to conclude with the words of Professor Sandy Pentland, our co-founder and the professor at MIT, and Sandy, who was awarded the seventh strongest data scientist in the world. Sandy believes that the blockchain is here to stay, that we stand on the verge of a revolution that is probably going to be larger than the internet revolution. Blockchain is going to reinvent companies, industries, and even nations. And we have to bring all the smartest, most talented people to work together to create this new world that would generate various types of values and businesses that we cannot even imagine today. So this is what we are doing today, and I invite all of you who think this is relevant for you to come and speak with us, to join the Alliance or the Federation of Artificial Intelligence on the blockchain, and thank you all. Thank you.